is definitely one to watch. Anyway, we don't have a we don't have a show scheduled in Spain, so Ali El Ameri will have to fight somewhere else than his hometown. So, too bad for him. But I do have some important information for the 2018 season, because once again, you know, I was uh, talking to the right people always. You know, God, man, you're in the right place at the right time. I'm trying to weasel my way to the top. You know it. <laughs> but now in 2018, Finland and Dubai. Those are the two places that the KOK organization is going to visit. And of course, we will be here on FightSports.tv to bring you all the action. It's going to be a good time, whether it's here or anywhere else on the planet. More knockouts, more fights, and more good stuff coming up. Five hundred thousand people living in the city of uh, Chisinau. It seems that most of them are here tonight in this arena, the largest city in the country of Moldova, the capital city of the country of Moldova. Here to uh, appreciate the talents of once again a man who is considered one of the top up-and-comers in the kickboxing world. He is from Belarus. At only 18 years old, his name is Oleg Liktorovich. Seven wins, zero losses. He has never tasted defeat. And he made the trip from Minsk here to uh, Kishinev. And he wants to make a statement. Well, he's making a statement. He's wearing the headband, the Monkon. Monkon, which is the Thai traditional headband, which is presented from a Thai teacher or master. So he's obviously Muay Thai trainers, as I, as I mentioned earlier tonight. A lot of them are Muay Thai fighters dropping the elbow, the clinch, and a couple of other rules that are allowed. But he faces this man. You know, the, uh, the Nakmue are also dropping the, the Ramway. No dancing before these fights. That's right. So Stanislav Ranita, again, another seasoned pro, a KOK, well-featured fighter, 24 years of age, from here in Kishno, Moldova, from the Lion Muay Thai gym, trained by Igor and Alexandru and Mr. Octavian. 16 fights, 11 wins, 5 losses, but he's up against the tough guy, as you've just said, the man was 7 and 0. Oh, and there's the man on the screen we've just been watching, one of the KOK champions. Speaking of KOK champions, Stanislav Renica, champion in the featherweight division. The title will not be on the line here tonight, of course. 11 wins, five losses, you said that. Five foot five. That's correct. It seems taller, I don't know. Yeah, seems... so, yeah. well, I'm five, I'm five foot five, so I need to stand at the side. No, actually, it's about the same height. Five, yeah. five, five, six. Yes, he is. Well, we've got the crate behind us all on the feet. Um, it's got to be a traditional it's Moldovian. It's got to be a traditional <laughs> Moldovian folk song, hasn't it? I'd love to translate, but I think I can't. <laughs> and you've, you've been coming here in this country for so many years. How come you didn't pick up on the language? Well, I already have, because I'll do it again. Buona sera. Good evening and welcome in Moldova. <laughs> That's it? That's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner. 18 years old, official height 170 centimeters, official weight 65 kilograms. His professional record, seven wins, no losses. World Muay Thai champion, fighter from Belarus, Ole. Torovich is five foot seven at 143 pounds. So the featherweight division. For the red corner, 24 years old, official height 166 centimeter, official weight 65 kilogram. His professional record: 11 wins, five losses. Gala Leo champion, 
KOK World Grand Prix Champion, nicknamed Bad Boy from Leon Gym, Moldova, Stanislav. So Stanislav, Bad Boy, Renica. Renica. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Super Fight, three rounds, three minutes each. Fires. Head referee yeah, Andre Grosu Obey my command all the time. With the last no minute clinching. recommendation, no, no clinching, no Shake elbow. Hands if you want to. Judge. Judge. And we're good to go Judge. for three rounds of three. Step back. And after this one, we will have the finals of the First round. lightweight Fight. tournament. Yeah, so round still some more action here on FightSports.tv. <laughs> That's a nice start. That is a good start. So, like I said before, Belarus produces some very, very strong fighters. Hard fighting nation there. Former Soviet Union. Well, the taller Lena Oleg up against the smaller stat Stanislav Bad Boy Renica from the Lion Muay Thai gym here in Moldova. The last two times we saw Renica in a KOK ring was against uh, Tommy Diekman where he beat him via knockout. And then he lost uh, by decision to uh, Muru Tairo at the last show. Well, that's the thing. He's had five losses, so he is beatable. Stop. No holding, no holding. But you always wonder when you see a guy with 7-0, and oh, whether it's 6, 5, 10, whatever it is. You know, people are always looking to see, is it going to continue? Is it going to reign with the undefeated record? Because it's, uh, sometimes that can work for and against you because the pressure's on to maintain and keep that lead. And there's nothing better of feelings. I remember I had um, 11 straight wins in my record and I lost my 12th fight. But you know what? You learn more from a loss than you do from any wins you will ever have. And any fighter will confirm that. I think the pressure was on for you because you knew that... Uh, Number 13 was coming okay. up, so you wanted to lose before 13. I'm glad you brought that up because I'm okay, going to discuss no the number 13. I can't understand why it's unlucky. Who made that up? Uh, I'm going to test you now. Uh, I got to check on the internet. There That's you go. He's going to Google that, isn't he? Yeah. Stop. Oh. Second no See what I mean? Too much Muay Thai. You got to leave that in the changing rooms. It's K1, KOK rules. Three three minute rounds of kickboxing. I think it is really hard for some of these guys to really forget about their uh, the stuff they do like day in, day out in the gym. Yes, absolutely. I mean, obviously, when this, you know they're taking one of these fights, you know they will drop those techniques, but they're still there in the back of your, you know, the, the back of your artillery, and you know they do come out. It's muscle memory. So uh, instantly, when you're in the clinch, you're going to try to sweep the leg. You're going to try to move the uh, your yeah, your, I grab them or do some. Yes, absolutely. It's just second nature, isn't it? You know, it's like when you learn with a knife and a fork. You know. If you've been given that, you know, you're going to use them. Yeah, but, but nobody's forcing Liktorovic to do some K K1 fights. No, I mean, obviously, like I said, a lot of these fighters switch between the two rule sets, and that's something that, you know, they've really got to sort of, and be, use the term again, switched onto. Um, so why do you think they, act, they, they accept all those challenges? Just for the experience, for the financial reasons? Yes. For, what's the deal? Well, I mean, with Muay Thai, it's quite, um, I can't say insular, because, I mean, the world does do Muay Thai, but, um, you know, Muay Thai is a little bit more traditional, and, um, you know, the longevity of a Thai fighter is far less than a kickboxer yeah. because collateral damage, you've got to think, when you're taking an elbow, which is one of the, you know, your elbow is like concrete and to get struck with in the full in the face with an cuts, elbow or a knee or a shit and a shin and you can actually hold somebody while you strike them, it doubles the force and, you know, bone on on soft tissue, whoa, you know, and this is why, you know, and five three-minute rounds as well. Remember, this is three threes. Oh, beautiful turning back kick we've just seen there. These, are, you know, these are interesting questions that you're asking, and you know, for the fight fans around the world who's listening and watching this, you know, if you're just a, a spectator, it's interesting to find out as to where these guys come from, what sort of you know training they do, because a training camp for one of these are never less than four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. You even get some people who train ten weeks for this fight. And it's down to nine minutes, you know? It, 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 the, the, the ratio is just crazy. It's insane. Isn't yeah. it? You know, nine weeks for, for nine minutes, it's just like, you know, that does not stack up, does it? It is absolutely insane when you put it that way, that's for sure. Well, I'm impressed. You know, we've been just having a little bit of uh, 
commentary between ourselves there. But while you know the fight's been unfolding, I've noticed that the man, Stanislav Renita, has took some heavy-duty low-point kicks, and he actually buckled his leg early, uh, sorry, in the middle of that first round. Um, stop, stop. And Oleg has, has been working that front leg. Now, whether that's a chink in the armour of Stanislav, there you go. Um, but he's, he spotted it, and it's paying dividends at the moment. A nice overhand right, too, from Oleg. We saw Liktorovic try a spinning back fist early in the uh, second round, trying to maybe bring another weapon to the table to play with the mind of uh, Renitsa. You can't show everything you got in the first few minutes. You got to keep uh, some for later, right? Well, this is making for a really good fight, and uh, I'm really impressed with these two. What did you expect? Yeah. Come on. You knew it was going to come. You know, these, I mean, this, it, like it was nothing. This guy, 7 0, is, look at this. He's almost playing. It looks like the, he's the man with the most fight record, and it's the other way around. 18 years old, Liktorovic. That's what's most impressive. 18 years old, and he's uh, really has the attitude of a uh, almost a veteran. Not yes. impressed at all. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well said. And um, rising star. I've used that a few times tonight. But he is another one, isn't he? In that category. Now, there's one thing you you mentioned tonight. Or also, is no wasted motions. I mean, uh, Liktorovic is really taking things almost, he's building something, you know, he's managing his effort and not going too nuts, which is often the case with these young young guys, you know? Yeah, absolutely, you're right. Normally, eight, you know yourself, you know, teenagers, you know, we always, <laughs> we mock them, we afflict them, and, you know, a lot of them are self-afflicted because uh, of where they are. But I was never a teenager, I was born old. Oh, you were right. <laughs> and, you know, Oleg, for me, He's 18 going on 28 in, in the experience level, as you've just pointed out. The guy, you know, he's not even, you know, 21, like I said, is when you officially grow up as a man. But well, this guy at 18 is just seriously like, like a, you know, he has matured that's very another, early. That's another information I'm going to check out on my my best friend, the internet, you know, about the... Trust me. 21 years old? Yeah, because you were you, what, you were praying every day, every night, until you were 22 to get a couple of inches more? I, I was, yeah, and I'm still praying. <laughs> Well, I stand the same height as the man there from Moldova. I'm seeing 5'5 five, five and 5'6. Five, um, my spikes don't count, of course, on top of my head, which adds to the height and the craziness, of course. But it's about these two are going crazy now in the ring, and this is fast, furious, frenetic, and fabulous here at King of Kings. This is turning into a brawl now between Renitsa and Niktorovic. I like the way. The Sorry, I like the way he works. Oleg works. And, excuse the pun, Oleg works the leg of Stanislav Renita. The front leg is the one, to me, is the chink in the armour. Oof! They had the same idea, the first one landing. Will have been the winner. And look at that now, smelling blood, Viktorovic. Again, moving forward, first one on the draw, the, the left hand, then the kick. What can you do? Against a lanky fellow like him. Ooh, moving to the side, and then one low kick to finish out that round in a beauty. Well, this is a real good fight because it's, it's, it's very style, technical. Different yeah. style than what we saw earlier. Yeah, and you've got moments of, 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 you know, of a rumble, and then you've got moments of just pure technique. Uh, you've got a nice blend going on here between these two. And, you know, as we keep saying, I don't want to say it, but you can say it. Styles make fights. Fights. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy stuff going here in Kishinev. How do you explain it to all these countries, you know, in Eastern Europe, Eastern Bloc, they all love their fight sports. There's a really a, a, a fight attitude almost in the air tonight. It's, yeah. it's the case in every country around here. It is, absolutely. And you know something what was refreshing? And when I came to these parts of the world only a few years ago commentating, and the pleasure of doing this, by the way, because it is a privileged position to be in, sat commentating. Is Next that, to I've me. noticed, of course, even better, um, is that um, football, or fool's ball as I call it, isn't, isn't number one, and that's very pleasing to hear. Uh, basketball seems to be number one in these parts of the world, and number two is kickboxing. That is really, really interesting. Um, Hard-headed warriors all over the place. Yeah. Loving to showcase their talents, and this is what we're offering tonight. Stop, stop, stop. And you know the other thing, what I actually like, Syrian, is the fact that the crowd is very educated, yeah. and they will support either side. Obviously, they want the hometown man to win, or woman, 
but if the other wins, they will applaud them. There is no booing. Oof. Stop time. No clinching. Last warning. Oh, the, the referees. Card. Yeah, the referees being very, very uh, yeah. strong in this decision. I, don't, I didn't see that Liktorovic was doing anything to. No, I didn't, I didn't see anything real. Yeah. Stop. Stop back. Fight. They're limiting the clinching to uh, crazy levels. It's like half a second now. <laughs> Doesn't even have time to uh, send out the knee. The referee's decision. Fight. Julian. Stefano Julian is the referee is looking really close at him about the clinching. He's got his eyes on him, so he's being, like you said. Now look at that. Stanislav Benita held the hand of Oleg to try and prevent him. And itself, that's an illegal thing. Nice little tactic though, of course. Oh. The high kick answered by a low kick. Stop. Stop it. So approaching halfway through the last, the third and final round, nice little cheeky knee coming up the middle there from Oleg. I don't know, it's Stanislav and he needs to, he is the champ, you know, he's supposed to be above, head and shoulders above the giant. Well, the swelling under the left eye of Stanislav Renica. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. And he's got a very reddened left leg where Oleg was chopping the man. Look at the bruising and the welts on the left leg of Stanislav. Proof, visible proof of Oleg's. I see some blood now on the, on the chest of uh, Renica. I don't know where it's coming from. Stop, stop that. Yeah, the, uh, no, the the Look at that. Woo. It's opened up now. That's a big cut. No. Nasty cut at the bad bad position for that cut on Larinita. The only good thing, there's a good thing about a cut, is that it's below and not above the eye. When there's yeah. a cut above the eye and the blood goes into the eye, that's when fights are stopped. So it is stopped. Is it? it? Is stopped. It oh is stopped. wow. So, so there's a worse cut than, than what we first I, thought. You saw it on the replay, you didn't see that, no. Sandy? Sorry, I just missed the, that. The, the cut was actually above the eye. I above thought, the eye, I, thought, I thought it was below, like sorry. You. I thought it was below too. Maybe he's got two cuts, that's I, possible too. I think you might be right. But I think it's two cuts, because I just seen the one below there. Oh, so that must was be a quick well, decision by the, uh, by the medical staff. Yeah. We've seen cuts tonight already, and the, the medical staff have allowed the fight to continue. But this time, well, do you know, I thought he was ahead anyway, Oleg. I'll be honest, if you'd have said to me, yeah. you know, he's absolutely gutted, though. He's devastated about this. But, you know, it, it's nice that they're given, they're given a chance sometimes. But, again, the fighter's future is important, too. Viktorovic gets the win tonight, stays undefeated, and I guess this is the most important win of his career. Via cut stoppage, referee, the medical stoppage, sorry. That means we will see this man again and again and again. See the cut? See? Oh, Whoa. yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, above the eye there, you said. But it's below the eye. I can see that, you know, where he's got the um, hematobin. Yeah. And then it just well, you know, blood first, came down. At first, I saw the, the blood on the chest. I told you there's some yeah. blood on the chest. I didn't know where it was coming from. Maybe the mouth or the other nose. And then yeah. when he turned around, said, uh oh. We saw something explode. The eye explode on, on the impact. We didn't see it in the first exchange. And that's really impressive now that you see uh, in the replay. Yeah, again, the King of Kings camera crew, really good and a good referee. And again, the referees have been great tonight. You know, they, they keep the fighters safe, they keep the fights flowing. And the blood is flowing too in this fight. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I love how the loss by the local champion kind of uh, killed the. Uh, the mood here in this arena. We got four or five, six thousand people, I don't know. But they're all silent now. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously they want the man to win they do, but you it's know crazy. It's unfortunate. It's the nature of the beast. Because of the injury, it's not possible to continue the fight. And the very final round after two minutes and thirteen seconds. The winner is Blue Corner, Oleg Viktorovic. Why, why were, was he uh, saying it slowly as if it was a mystery? <laughs> we know, we know the stoppage. So he goes, the all doesn't go tonight. Oleg Likotovic comes out there with now eight and eight. Well, that is great for the man from Belarus. Eight and oh. Eight and oh. You said eight and eight. No, no. Sorry, eight and eight. Yeah. Eight wins out of eight uh, fights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. This is the place to be here in K1.
competition now. It's funny because when I was mentioning to uh, a lot of people around me that I was going to Kishinau for this event, a lot of people didn't even know where it was.